Trent police believe they know the people responsible for vandalism outside of Dade County High School. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Authorities say the men spray painted graffiti outside of the school, broke a window, and it's all caught on tape. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is here now with why police believe those vandals could be from Dade County. Jerry. That is right. Police say it all happened Monday when the school was closed for Labor Day. Now the entire community wants to know why. And it goes back to the whole respect. Um, it's disrespectful. And this surveillance photo shows two men wearing gray hoodies outside of Dade County High School. Police say they're responsible for spray painting graffiti all over the field house and several signs outside the school. And even the walkway leading up to the football stadium still has obvious signs of graffiti from last night. School officials say they plan to have it all cleaned up by today. Police say the vandals also broke out a window at the front door of the school. They also spray painted the letters NSM around campus, which school officials say likely stands for North Sand Mountain, a rival high school Dade County played against on Friday. If you've got some um, issue, come and talk with us, but don't do something, you know, like that. That's it's rather cowardly. So the question might be floating around. Is this graffiti at Dade County High in retaliation from Friday's football game? And in case you're wondering, Dade County won that game by far. It is a rivalry, but we've got a good relationship with our North Sand Mountain folks, and so I, just, I don't think it was them. And police don't either. From watching this video, investigators believe the vandals are in their late teens to early 20s and are likely from Dade County. They were just up to no good just trying to vandalize and be destructive. Police are hoping to catch the men before it's too late. We do need to stop them early before they become more destructive and cause more damage to the school or any other building in the area. Now the school system is stuck with the bill of nearly $7,000 to clean up all this graffiti. And we take pride in, in our school, and I think our students take pride in it. Again, no one has been arrested. Police say if captured, the men could face felony charges. We'll bring you all more as we find out. Latricia. Thanks, Jerry. And you may remember last November, police arrested a Marion County High School assistant football coach, accusing him of vandalizing his own school. 41-year-old Michael Schmidt was accused of spray painting the team's field house, making it appear like someone from rival South Pittsburgh High did the damage. Schmidt was also a teacher at Marion County High at the time, but he's no longer employed there.